one thing I want to mention here, you can have two controllers to control the Tello with this app. One is a master, one is a student. Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Daniel here. Exactly a year ago, I did the review of this drum. The Rise Tello. Now, I said that this was the best drone you could get for around $100. A year later, still the case among the best you can get in the price range. But what's new now is that there is a new app from Volatello. Um, it's very, very sophisticated, as you will see. There's a demo version and there is a paid version for $6.99. So let's see if it is worth it. To make it easier for you guys, I'm going to compare the two apps. So right now we are in the stock Rise Tello app, as you can see here. We have the video feed from the uh, Tello. And we have our main screen over here. So the two joysticks, left and right. The upper left corner, this is the takeoff button. The second button here are the flight modes. So we have throw and go, AD flips, up and away, 360 uh, circle and bounce mode. The bounce mode is funny, but it's there. And then we have here settings. We have here flight modes, slow or fast. We have VR, we can use here goggles. We have, uh, go back to settings, we have of course Bluetooth controller. You can control the Tello with a smartphone or also with a compatible uh, controller like the Parrot uh, Flypad or the uh, GameSeer controller. We have Wi-Fi here. Uh, connection and we have more where you have here some aircraft settings so metric or imperial for your units photo quality the warning uh, threshold stick mode and mode 2 the exposure compensation and the altitude lock so right now I cannot exceed 10 meters and the bit rate this is for the aircraft and this is here some some status here to calibrate um, update here firmware uh, nothing else really here of interest and back to our main screen so as you can see there is nothing really nothing much on the app in the center in the upper center we have the speed and the horizontal distance from your uh, point of departure so nothing much so let's have a look at the uh, other app I'm now in the uh, Tello FPV app and as you can see there is a lot of information on the screen. We have at the bottom the speed, the horizontal distance from the point of departure, the altitude, the takeoff button, the Wi-Fi signal, the battery left in the drone, the battery in the phone, and if I had a game controller like the Parrot uh, Flypad or the Games here, it would show here the battery. Now, if you look at the top of the screen, we have the home button here that will return the drone to the point of departure. And remember, the Tello does not have GPS, so that's all done with VPS, the Visual Positioning System. So if you're flying over grass or uh, over water, this may not work. So the Tello will come back, but it will be off by at least 10, 20, even 20 feet. So I was saying the top right corner, you can take a picture, you can take a video, uh, you can set the um, exposure here, you can have a VR with very simple goggles, and you have a, you have a head-up display, a HUD also, H-U-D. So this is the feed here, you can see. This is what Tello sees on my, uh, on my cell phone, and you have Tello over there. So we have the Tello up in the air and uh, looking at the app again, it's, uh, we have the home, it will come back to the home. So if I move like sideways and I tap on home, the drone will turn, we'll see it appear on the screen again and it's coming back to a home position. Again, using VPS only. So I'm going to turn here, going sideways a little bit right there. I'm going to turn to face the bookcase a bit more, just like that, I overshot a bit. That's the thing about the Tello, it's very, very, very quick to respond. And I'm not even in sport mode. So we have at the top the flag, you can 
the POI point of interest set to the current position. So I can so I can lock the POI so I can fly and the tiller will always point at the POI. I can also um, fly up and away. I can circle around the point of interest, circle POI. And again here I can um, set the current location or I can clear it. So uh, this is, oh there's an emergency stop button also at the top. So if you're doing something and you feel like you're losing control of the Tello, you press stop, you hold the button and Tello will stop moving. It will stay still, okay? And then if you remove your finger, it will you can, then you, have, you can have control. You have also in the right corner at the top, I forgot to mention that, you can have also a video, a 360, or if you are in photo mode, you can have also, it will take uh, photos here as you can see, it's doing a uh, photo panorama and it will put all the pictures together. And it's coming towards me now, right there. Turning around, turning, doing a 360, then taking a total of 10 pictures. So it does that automatically the same with the video so this is very very cool very very nice uh, feature so when you are in photo mode the good thing to know also is that you are taking pictures at a, at a ratio of four three and if you are in video mode you are shooting at uh, at seven i think it's 720p i'll check that but it's 720 not 1080. now at the top of the screen we have settings over here and there is a lot of stuff here we have main settings video and photo the controller the tune controls the fly log the flight log sorry the gravity calibration help and about the help is a big pdf document like 28 pages with a lot of details and if we click on main settings here for example you have the main settings return to home miscellaneous let's get out of this here we have video and photos here look at that here video settings photo settings there is a lot you can set here the game controller one thing i want to mention here you can have two controllers to control the tele with this app one is a master one is a student so the master will take over uh, if something goes wrong for example so this is very interesting to have and we have um, uh, tune controls over here you can have uh, exponentials if you are used to that kind of controls you can have also the sport mode the same thing here and back here we have the flight logs as you can see here i flew with this app only three times today as you saw guys the uh, tello fpv app at six dollars and 99 cents is well worth it uh, if you have a tello or if you're thinking of buying one uh, I mean, you should bypass the Rise Tello app and buy it right away the uh, Tello FPV app. It's very, very nice, all the settings you have. And to me, a few major items, you can teach a kid to fly by having two controllers, by having a master and a student. And you can also set a point of interest and you fly all around the place and Tello will aim at your POI. So these are, to me, two major features of this uh, app. So thank you guys for watching and as always, if you have any questions, put them down below. I'll be happy to get back to you. Have a great day, happy flying and safe flying. Goodbye.